I think it's like kind of odd that like a guy like me has to come out from doing what I do on a daily basis to have fun because I see what's going on in these streets and I see you guys just sitting up there in them comfy chairs and suits and like, and I'm getting out here every day and I'm broadcasting this and you guys are just sitting up there in suits or something. Like I, I really challenge you guys to get out here and do something. These Haitians are running into trash cans. They're running into buildings. They're running into, they flipping cars in the middle of the street. I don't know how, like, y'all can be comfortable with this. Like, I don't know, like, who's getting paid from this. I feel like, I honestly feel like someone's getting paid from it in the background. They dropping, they, you got a bunch of people on a bus getting dropped off at a gas station to come down here. I know a single mom that FaceTime me tonight, FaceTime me this morning at the welfare office that really need, like, that really needs something. And it's nothing but immigrants over there. And I don't even want to, like seem like I'm coming down on the immigrants because it's the people that's bringing them down here because wherever they're at, that's what they're used to, bro. They're in the park grabbing up ducks by their neck and cutting their head off and walking off with them and, and eating them. Like, y'all get the Highway State Patrol down here every week and then y'all get like a task force for the Highway State Patrol and they look for guns and they look for dope and this and that and the fourth. That same people that y'all got riding up and down limestone doing u-turns pulling people over for blinkers and pulling people over for like going left to center in like a couple miles over like y'all can take them same people the highway state patrol and you can take them in every single one of their silver charges and dodge durangos and y'all can take them to uh sunset and y'all can park them right over there and y'all can teach people how to drive since the highway state patrol know so much how to buy, know so much about traffic laws and know what to do in traffic they need to y'all pay them they can go over there and teach these Haitians how to drive because it's, it's getting a bro. I'm getting thousands of views on on these, and it's going to get bigger and it's only going to get worse. And y'all sitting up there in these chairs, y'all, all y'all need to get out here and do something. Y'all making hundreds of thousand dollars. Y'all need to put on a t-shirt and some Crocs, and then y'all need to come out here in these streets and y'all need to go out here and uh, I'm out here before the police is. Like y'all need to do something, bro. Y'all really got to stand on business. Y'all getting paid all this money just to wear a suit and sit in a chair. I don't think I think it's. I think it's crazy, bro. They, like, we got to do something, bro. It's kids out here getting hurt. Like, only reason I even went on here and said something about it is because somebody told me they walking from the school and a Haitian almost ran into them. And who is getting paid? Like, how much money is y'all really getting paid, like, to bring them over here? Like, I know it's deeper than them. I know that's where they come from, and that's what they do. That's their country. I don't know what they got going on over there, but they can't do that over here. And if y'all just getting paid from it and then y'all ain't doing nothing about it, I think that's super weird, bro. Y'all got to stand on business. Y'all got to really, like, step up. Like, it's, it's lame, bro. Like, for real. Thank you for your comments. Thank for you. Sure. Thank you. Noel? Thank you. I live at 426 Northwestern Avenue. Miss Skinner, who I'm not trying to put on the spot, is my neighbor. Just talk to me, ma'am. Thank okay. you so much. And I'm done with what I'm seeing, it is so unsafe in my neighborhood anymore. I have the homeless that were trying to camp out, and I have, I have made concessions with them, and I try to help them the best I can to keep them from trying to squat on my property. But it is so unsafe. I have men that cannot speak English in my front yard screaming at me, throwing mattresses in my front yard, throwing trash in my front yard, and I can't. I look at me, I weigh 95 pounds. I couldn't defend myself if I had to. My husband is elderly, and last night, after living in this home for 45 years, he said, Noel, guess what? It's time to pack up and move. He said, we can't do this anymore. He said, it's killing both of us mentally. I don't understand what you expect of us as citizens. I mean, I, I understand they're here under temporary protected status, and you're protecting them, and I understand that our city services are overwhelmed and understaffed, but who's protecting us? If we're protecting them, who's protecting me? I want out of this town. I am sorry. Please give me a reason to stay. Thank you. Thank you. What did you do? Why'd you kill the cat? Smile for me. Smile at you. Go like this. Did you eat that cat? Did you eat it? No, why'd you kill it? Did you guys see all this? No, we pulled up and she was just laying there with it. Did you see her eating it? Eating it. She was eating it? Yeah, yeah she was. Can you call the Humane Society to see if they'll come pick this cat up? It's deceased. 